Hi folks, we're here to talk about Chief Steamer 125. It's been a while since I've done an updated video on the 125. There's plenty of action videos of the machine out there, cleaning a car both inside and out. Uh, today, we're going we're gonna to dive into a number of things that I want to talk about between the 125, and I also want to talk about uh, my competitor's machine, the Rhino, which is now at 200. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that. But first, I want to talk about the 125. I don't want to call it new because we didn't do any changes to the specs of the machine. We're still starting at 135 PSI, and that's going to be key in what I'm going to talk about in a little while. But I want to show you the difference in, we've done a, a little bit of a body change on this machine, and it's been out for a while. So anybody that's, that has ordered a 125 in the past um, three, four months has actually received the new body compared to the old body. So if you look at it, this is our, uh, this is the 125, and that's a 125. So they're slightly different. You might say one's prettier than the other, uglier than the other, that's up to you. But there's subtle changes. Nothing really changes as far as functionality goes. There's still the steam adjuster uh, valve, there's still the chemical adjuster valve, still a pressure gauge, still the two LED indicator lights to tell you what's going on with the machine, on off switch, connector for the hose, none of that changes. Um, height wise, I think we're slightly lower on the height. Width, weight, length, we're, we're all about the same. The wheels are the same. The tanks on the top are the same, same capacity. Uh, the handles, which I didn't put on, that's all going to be the same. The difference is the serviceability of the machine. We came out with the 155 240 volt machine uh, probably almost two years ago now. And the way I wanted that machine designed was serviceability because that's a heavier machine. It's a slightly bigger machine. I didn't want that machine coming back and forth in shipping. So we made that machine super, super easy to swap out parts. Now, that's what we've done with the new 125 machine. The old 125 machine, which is years and years old at this point and has been this body style for the longest time, was, was the difference is is that to service the old 125 machine, we took the side panels off. So both side panels came off of the old 125 machine, and we had to take the bolts out of the side to get into anything that was on the inside of the machine. So if we had a pump replacement, a solenoid valve, uh, anything to do with any of the fittings or anything in here, we had to work on it from both sides because the top didn't come off, just the way the body was always designed. A little bit, little bit harder to work on. You need a little bit more skill, uh, a little bit tight in here. So I never loved it. I'm sure anybody that's ever had to work on a 125, the old body style didn't like it. And then when you put it back together, the side panels went on just like that. Now, the new one is a little bit different. So the new one we designed basically the same way as we've designed the 155 machine. Much easier to work on. So with the 155, with the 125 and the 155, the top, the bottom, and the back are one piece. When I pull this lid off, the two sides and the top are going to come off, which means much more easy serviceability and getting at the components that might need to be replaced. Because as I've said in almost every other video that we've done as far as maintenance and serviceability goes, at some point, if you use it all the time, something's going to break. And I'd rather be able to diagnose it over the phone and send you a part than have the machine come back and forth. So once we take two, two bolts off the top and four bolts on either side, this comes off just like this. So we move this off to the side move that off to the side, and now everything can be serviced from the top and the two sides. So it makes a solenoid valve replacement much easier. It makes getting to any fittings that might be leaky need a little bit of tightening. It makes the water pump much easier to get to, the pressure switch much easier to get to, a computer board much easier to get to. Everything is so simple on the inside of the machine now to service that it makes serviceability much easier. And I think that in comparison to my competitor's machine, I think we're going to hold a little bit of an advantage in working on the machine. And we try and cut down on the complexity inside the machine where we limit the inside of the machine to one computer. 
we limit the machine to uh, certain things that make it easier to, for parts to be replaced and less things to be replaced. When I need to work on a machine, I don't want to be working on a machine for hours and hours and hours myself. If you need to work on a machine to replace a part, you want that part to be accessible, you want it to be easy, and we want it to be a one-shot deal. We don't want so many wires all over the place and so many tubes that it makes the machine much more complex. So we've tried to simplify this machine the best we can. Now, somebody might look at the inside of the machine and say, oh my God, there's so many wires and so many tubes but that's just a steamer for you. But I think that this machine is very simple. And I think our new design where it's open on the top and open on the two sides makes it really, really simple to get at anything. And I think that's important because at some point you're gonna to need to service something.